Hello everyone, welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time what I'm going to show you is we already have this uh, dynamic material parameters which can be used to change the wetness of the world and the wind system and now today I'm going to show you how to implement a dynamic rain in system like this. So it is at first the world is dry and after some time it starts raining and the whole world start to look wet like this and some droplets on the camera and the rolling leaks and yes as you can see now the world is wet and after a little bit time the rain will stop and then it will again slowly become dry so let's okay rain is stopped and now the world is still wet and it's slowly becoming dry and again it's dry okay so actually I have fast uh, speed up the process to demonstrate and you can slow down it later and I'll show you how did I achieve this okay let's get started I'll go to my previous project okay and here we already have this MP global parameter and with this I am going to dynamically drive change this rain level to in as the world start raining okay the first thing is I am going to create another blueprint called weather controller okay and then I'm going to create some methods here so it's uh, initially it uh, I'll define some parameters rain level which represents the current rain level of the world and the change rate that means uh, what is the change in rate of this rain level okay and first I'll set this uh, disable this tick and I'll set this to something like 1 because I actually it doesn't matter because I want to show the change a little rapidly okay so here first I'll set rain level like this and I'll add this to the change level change rate and I'll set this new rain level uh, to our parameter rain level like this okay and again uh, so this happens in the tick so that uh, we will get a gradual increase in the rain level and if the rain level exceeds zero when the rain level is increasing you know, if uh, if it is if it becomes lower than zero that means when the rain is level is reducing I want to stop this tick I want to stop this change for happening further for for that I'll make a branch like this and again I'll get the rain level if it is larger than one I'll if it is larger than one or if it is smaller than zero I'll make a O here and plug it here like this so if this condition 
is true i'll set tick i'll stop the tick of this vector uh, this uh, actor because we don't need to change the rain level further right and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a custom method custom event called toggle rain okay the to show rain first i need a particle system and i already have created a particle system to represent rain like this and uh, actually i'm not going to go into detail on how to create a particle system it will make the session too long so i'll just use this you can use whatever the rain particle system you already have and i'll set this to uh, not to auto activate and also i need a rain sound i also have a rain sound like this and i'll just wait whatever i'll just uh, drag and drop it here like this and for that also i'll disable auto activate and in this toggle rain, I'll define a parameter called enable. If it is true, we are going to enable rain. If it is false, we are going to disable rain. So I'll set a branch here. Okay, if it is true, we are going to enable rain. That means I'm going to activate this. Oh, there is another method set active okay and also the rain sound i'm going to play this right and i'm going to set the ch this change rate into something like point one you can try lower values or different values later i'll just keep it at point one for now and i'm going to set actor tick enabled here because once i enabled the rain this rain level should change to represent the change in the wetness of the world okay same thing i'll duplicate here if it is if i want to disable rain then i should this set this to false and also instead of play i should stop this rain sound and yeah i'll set the change rate to minus 0.1 okay and then uh, so we have this method and we should invoke this somewhere for now i'll at the begin play i'll made a little delay like five seconds and i'll toggle rain and i'll give it a 30 second delay and then I'll stop training like this okay and uh, that's all for this actor and one small thing so this uh, rain particle is only limited to the area that I have I will put this weather controller actor in my world but uh, my character can run around therefore instead of I directly putting into the world I'll attach this one this weather controller to my character 
this may not be the best way to do it but for now it will do if you analyze your system according to double op concept so any other software engineering concepts this doing this would not be the best thing to do okay anyways uh, I'll attach this to camera to be safe okay right and also uh, that render target thing which we created earlier I'll put this in somewhere as well this is the one that put the rolling leaks and other droplets on the camera so yes I think everything is done and it's a uh, time to check okay I'll go full screen and start playing right it should start raining okay and right so the world okay we got the droplets and water leaks and soon the world should become wet right wait a minute okay the world didn't become wet why is that let's quickly check our this one let's go back here what went wrong let's say in order okay actually I had to recompile the shader there was a little error in my shader so it should work now right started raining and yes it's getting wet as expected and yes, uh, rolling leaks and droplets and dripping water on the camera. Okay, and it should stop raining in 30 seconds. Okay, raining is stopped. And it should get right. Right it all works fine and yes and that's all for today and next time I think we should uh, work on the sky because uh, when it's raining the sky should get uh, darker and cloudy and also the lighting of the scene alright uh, see you in the next video thank you very much bye